the whole year you go through this wild sort of transformation around you and inside you and everything and fall comes around and it's like this brilliant death to the year this like really bright sort of gorgeousness the space and the air it's simple it's honest and deeply woven too with what's what the vibe is here in the midwest there's something sacred going on and uh, i can understand it my name is justin vernon i'm a musician from eau claire wisconsin I grew up here in Eau Claire my whole life. I've spent 30 out of the 32 years here. It's a small town, but it's, it's big enough where you don't know everybody, but it, it's, uh, it's just the right size town for me. In many ways, the landscape around here and the roads and the people and, and everything that makes it what it is around here, that's the lens I see the world through. I compare every place I go to to here. It's where I feel most peaceful. I started my first band in sixth grade. I've been in bands ever since, you know. I'm just in many, as in many bands as I am now as I was then and all the way through. From a pretty early age, I think when my dad gave me his guitar when I was 12, it was like, it's on. You have that calling and it's, you feel like that's what you're supposed to be doing. It just feels the best dedication that was sort of unending the, my the passion for it and the drive because it, I kind of knew it was the only way for me to feel fulfilled I've spent all my energy since I was a young kid basically trying to figure out how to do that and about when I was 26 I was almost ready to quit because nothing had happened and then in the nick of time you know, something happened We're sitting in a place called April Base. We're trying to make this, this studio, April Base, kind of a, a thing that outlasts us all and that can sustain itself economically and keep, you know, keep the walls up. Bands from Eau Claire that are, that are coming up have kind of come out here and started to record their records and learning on their own. And I had the opportunity to, to build something like this. And man, if we would have had something like this when I was growing up, I mean, that's just kind of how I think, I guess. Some days you don't like music. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing that's proved to me that, that uh, I love this, is that I continue to do it even though sometimes it feels like it's killing me. One thing about growing up in a small town is that it's insular and it protects you. You don't sort of rise up and, and become yourself. And it took maybe a little longer for me to, to step into my own shoes, so to speak. The perseverance was not quitting while I hadn't found myself yet. And maybe part of the Midwestern spirit is, is that I don't take myself too seriously. One of the silly things about being a musician is that your hands get soft, you know, and uh, I think it's a dangerous thing. You have to be a person. Uh, it's, it's too freeing to just be an artist. You're not, I don't think, you have enough coming in if you're just kind of experiencing your own art all the time. I think that's a dangerous slope to be on. You grow fed up sometimes in the world and you see things that are just disposable, buildings that are disposable, and uh, a building goes up and it comes down and uh, nothing lasts. And I think that you just need to you know, build community and that's why I'm sticking around. <laughs> 